in this video, we're going to be having a look at bitterness and sourness. These are two of the most important aspects of tasting coffee, and arguably, they're going to be the most obvious thing that you're going to notice when you first take a sip. It is really important to know the difference between bitterness and sourness, because they're often confused. People often mix up these two concepts, but they are in fact total opposites. If you've ever tasted burnt food, you've tasted bitterness. It's very harsh, it's ashy. Those deep, intense flavours are what we'd associate with bitterness. And of course, eating burnt food isn't a good experience. It's not something that we enjoy, but that just illustrates bitterness at an extreme. When we come back from that extreme, we might think of foods like barbecue food, char-grilled food. Now these have deep, smoky qualities, and this is stuff that people really enjoy. And these are also the qualities that we would associate with bitterness. Other foods that we could mention would be dark chocolate, tonic water, grapefruit. If you like any of these things, you might have a tendency towards more bitter foods. And you might also then have a leaning towards more bitter, darker coffees as well. Sourness is the very opposite. If we said that bitterness was eating burnt food, well then sourness is eating a lemon. When you bite into a lemon, we make that face, don't we? We, we suck our cheeks in, and that's a stringency. That's a, a quality we associate with sourness. I might also describe it as tangy, tarty. These are all qualities that are associated with something that is very sour. Again though, like burnt food, it's not a great experience eating a lemon, but we come back from the extreme again, we might think of lemonade. Now it's still got those same base qualities, it's, it's sharp, it's tangy, but it's really pleasing to drink. It's fresh, it's crisp, it's refreshing. And when we talk about sourness in coffee, these are the types of qualities that we're looking for. We're looking for a sharpness, a refreshing quality, maybe the brightness that we would associate with citrus fruits or more bright summer fruits. Just to clarify something here is that in this video and in videos to come, you might hear me talking about acidity. Now acidity and sourness can be two terms that are interchangeable, but in coffee circles, when we talk about acidity, often what we're actually talking about is a positive sourness. So say there was a coffee that had uh, sour qualities, but it wasn't enjoyable. Maybe it was, it was too tangy, it was too unpleasant for us. Well then, we would call it sour. But if it has those sour qualities that we enjoy, it's bright, it's fresh, it's crisp, well then we would talk about it as having some good acidity. So, just a clarification on terms there. When we talk about acidity, we mean a positive sourness. Obviously, in coffee, the difference between bitterness and sourness isn't going to be as obvious as, say, the difference between lemonade and tonic water. But there is still going to be a difference there, even though it's more subtle. It's really about looking out for the sensations that you feel. For example, sourness tends to exhibit itself more dominantly on the side of our tongue. That's where we'd feel those sour qualities. And with bitterness, it is not a hard and fast rule, but generally, especially with the, the more darker roast of coffee, we tend to see these qualities exhibit themselves more at the back of the tongue, the back of our throat. So is that way you're feeling your coffee? and try and associate what you're drinking with something else that you've eaten or drunk as well. Because bitterness and sourness aren't qualities that are limited to coffee. So have you drunk something that's giving you a similar sensation? Maybe you've eaten something sour, like a, a sour gummy or, or another sour food that's caused a similar reaction on your tongue. This is really good ways of associating what we already know as bitterness and sourness and then using that training to identify what qualities our coffee has. This might sound strange, but this is gonna become something that after a while you'll automatically be able to identify without even thinking about it. 
to illustrate if someone gave you two pieces of chocolate, one piece of milk chocolate, one piece of dark chocolate, you're going to know which is which straight away. And the same will happen with coffee. You can have two different types of coffee and you're going to be able to pick out the bitterness, the sourness in these different coffees after a while, after you've trained your palate for this. And to help in this, try out as many different coffees as you can. Try coffees from different roasters at different roast levels, from different countries. And as you try out all these different types of coffee, you're going to get to see what bitterness and what sourness tastes like from a wide range of beans. There are two big reasons why you want to understand bitterness and sourness. First of all, they're really good concepts to understand by themselves, but they also contribute a lot to the sweetness of a coffee. But sweetness is a whole other video in itself, so I'm going to put a link to that up there in the corner, and I definitely recommend going and giving that a watch after you finish this video. To get the most out of this video then, I'd really recommend trying as many coffees as you can. As you try out these coffees, try and be aware of the sensations in your mouth, associate them with other things that you've eaten and drunk, try and pick out the bitter, sour qualities and assess how sweet this tastes to you. This way you're going to get to experience a wide array of bitterness and sourness and you'll get a really good idea of the types of coffee that are out there and what appeals to you.